Well, it's still the breakfast and plus TV Africa and uh, the concerns of or the actions of the Labour Congress, the Nigerian Labour Congress to be precise. However, it's been reported that the NLC has suspended its planned nationwide indefinite strike and uh, picketing of the Central Bank of Nigeria, that's the CBN, offices across the country over the scarcity of the Naira note. It had planned, it's important to note that the NLC had planned to begin its nationwide sit at home indefinite strike from uh, yesterday, which was, you know, uh, Wednesday, March the 29th, and picketing of the CBN headquarters and its state offices across the country over the cash crunch that had brought untold hardship to Nigerians and businesses. Despite Chris Ngige's thoughts, you know, Chris Ngige thinks that it's not as much as we're saying. But, you know, at the end of the National Executive Council meeting, uh, NEC, uh, leaders of the NLC, however, gave the Central Bank of Nigeria two weeks to normalize money supply nationwide, especially in rural communities. The NLC had a resolution and there, you know, in that resolution, this disclosure was made in that section of its National Executive Council after the executive discussion, after they had reviewed the undercurrents uh, and the cash crunch issues across the country. And to some extent they say, okay, maybe, you know, we need to give some time. We have, Okonyo Abdullahi, who is a trade unionist, the General Secretary for Union of Workers in the telecommunications sector. Uh, Abdullahi, it's good to have you join us. Thank you so much. Good morning. Yeah, good morning. Good morning. Nice to be here. Yes, please. So I I'd like to share your thought now. You are a trade unionist and as you know, a member of this now, how do you respond to the suspension of the strike action, which was... Uh, you know, proposed by the NLC. Mm, okay, thank you so much, Oya, once again, and uh, I'm glad to be here. Uh, on the suspension of the strike, I think uh, for me, it's actually the best way to go. You know, during the course of your uh, preamble to this uh, interview, you made mention of the fact that uh, NLC had its National Executive Council meeting. Uh, at that meeting, I was also, by virtue of my position as the General Secretary of the Trade Union, that is the Private Telecommunications and Communications Senior Staff Association of Nigeria, Texan. So I was part of the NEC meeting. So at that particular meeting, we extrayed the, this, uh, what do you call it, the situation of things generally, you know, we, before that particular meeting we had held one which actually gave that ultimatum uh, the initial ultimatum so at the at that particular meeting we asked all our state councils to go to banks to verify to cross check if things have normalized or if things have improved compared to uh, the way they used to be so at the last uh, next meeting the feedback we got from our state councils was to the effect that, yes, though things are not yet 100% normalized, but uh, there have been a lot of uh, improvements. And uh, at the meeting, which was brokered and facilitated by the minister, Honorable Minister of uh, Labor, so the governor of uh, Central Bank himself was present at that meeting with his entourage. And they gave uh, assurances that they would need more time for things to, to stabilize. So they thought that, yes, we should give them more time. So on the basis of that and on the basis of the feedback we got from our uh, state councils, so we came to that conclusion that, yes, we should give them a two weeks extension, failure to, of which if they are unable to meet up as they promised, then the action will, uh, will kick off. Mm. No, but I, I'd like to ask you now, what exactly do you think that the CBN is grappling with or were grappling with at the time now? You know, prior to this time, it felt like it was because of the ruling of the court. I mean, the fact that you've not had the CBN or the, the president himself uh, giving some sort of directive, even though that shouldn't be the, the case. Uh, but now, you know, the CBN had 
said, yes, fine, agreeing with the ruling of the Central Bank of Nigeria, asking that the old notes and the new notes should be in circulation simultaneously. It's also expected that the banks, the, you know, the commercial banks should have this cash available, but that's not the case. We're not saying that it hasn't reduced. So what exactly do you think that, you know, the CBN is dealing with or we're dealing with as a country now? Why this cash is not available, we haven't returned to normalcy. Uh, as a matter of fact, it is a $1 million question that you just asked me because uh, personally, to like every other Nigerian, it is a situation that is so appalling and uh, we do not really have any answer to what uh, the CBN did because uh, during the course of the broadcast of the uh, president, he, was, he came out to tell us that it was as a result of, I mean, there was need for the economy to be rejigged, that uh, the redesigning of the policy was going to improve our economy. Another point he gave was that uh, because uh, he was trying to see a situation whereby uh, politicians will not be able to get money to buy votes and the likes like that. So those are the reasons they, they gave uh, for, season, for confiscating, because as a matter of fact, that was what they did. They, they, they deceived people into believing that they wanted to redesign, they collected their money and they never paid back. Uh, which is something that has never happened to us before in Nigeria. So, uh, having said that, uh, going, going to your question, I want to believe that it is only CBN itself that can really explain why, as it is today, despite about uh, two weeks' uh, judgment of the Supreme Court, they have not been able to meet up and make uh, money available or cash available to to Nigerians. So it's very, very appalling, I must say. Hello. Hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.